With us at the desk today, we have CUTV reporter Clinton Logan. He is here to tell us about Relay for Life at Cal U. Clint? Thanks a lot for having me, Lauren. The annual Relay for Life event took place last Friday as hundreds of students took part in an overnight walk to benefit cancer research. The fourth annual Relay for Life was held in the quad outside of the Heron Recreation and Fitness Center to benefit the American Cancer Society. This year, the event registered over 300 participants and welcomed four cancer survivors. The theme this year was Disney, and the goal was making the fairy tale of a cure come true. The walk began at 7 p.m. and continued until 7 a.m., but that's not all that was offered at the event. Throughout the night, activities such as Zumba, dance team performances, auctions, and much more took place. Each year, the Relay for Life Committee sets out a goal to raise a certain amount of money for the American Cancer Society. This year was no different. The overall fundraising goal is 25000 going into the event. I think we are at 12000 and that's not with the Zumbathon raised $3,000, the Billards Tournament raised money, and then we have individual participants bringing in money all night. So it's a very attainable goal. Last night going into it, if each registered participant raised 48 additional dollars, we will reach our $25,000 goal. The planning for this event was one of the biggest struggles that the committee faced. Um, well, it was about a year-long process of um, deciding where we were going to have the event. This is the first year that we have it um, on campus. It's always been at Rotary. Um, so it was a lot of work to bring it here to campus, but we think it was well worth it. Um, and then basically just the promotion of the event. We have more survivors this time than we ever had for any of our four years. We took a lot of... Uh we took, we'd ask a lot of people as to what we want. We had to debate as to what our uh, what we want our theme to be. Once we figured it all out, I think a lot of it came together through our great committee. One of the highlighted events of the night was a luminario ceremony in which students walked a lap to remember and think of friends and family who have dealt with cancer. One cancer survivor voiced her thoughts on the students' involvement with Relay for Life. I think it's great. The younger generation caring like this, I mean, and they're looking out for themselves if they don't know it. They're, in the long run, they're helping themselves also because you don't know what's going to hit you or when. The Relay for Life Committee finished the event with a total of $19,000 raised for the American Cancer Society. Although this year's walk is over, preparations for next year's event has already begun. So guys, I know, Lauren, you were in attendance. What did you think about the Relay for Life event? I really thought it was great, Clint. It was a great way to get everyone involved on campus for a great cause. Even though the weather wasn't the best, it was still a very good thing to do on, ca on campus here. Yeah, I heard it was a little cold. It, it was a little bit cold, but still a great event overall. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it was cold, but it was really nice today. So It was nice. Yeah. I really hope it stays this <laughs> way. Maybe it will. Hopefully these warm weather conditions continue. Find out when we return with student meteorologist Chris Warner in your weather report. Stay tuned.